My second ranked tackle in the 2024 class is Penn State left tackle Olu Fashanu. Six foot six, 320 pounds, over 34 inch arms, has all of the measurables and movement skills that you want for a franchise blindside protector. He could have declared last year, most likely would have been a first round pick, but he decided to come back. He's still only 21 years old, and he just has a pristine record in pass protection over his two years as a starter. 733 pass blocking snaps at Penn State, only 17 pressures, one quarterback hit, and zero sacks allowed. If you were building a pass blocking left tackle in a lab, this is what you would come up with. He has rare movement skills and recovery ability to succeed on an island. He has smooth pass sets. He can easily get depth to protect the corner against speed rushers. He has great natural play strength. He's got the anchor footwork and lower body flexibility to pretty much shut down power rushes at the college level. So just in terms of his movement skills, I'm confident in his ability to pass block in all three directions. He has the foot speed to slide with inside counters, although there were a few times on his tape where he was a little bit late reacting to an inside spin. Now at the college level, he has the recovery ability to slide over enough and reach back to prevent him from pressuring the quarterback. But projecting to the NFL, he does need to up that awareness that pass rushers can hit him to the inside. And then he has excellent awareness of stunts, twists, blitzes. I didn't see a single rep on his tape where he wasn't prepared or was late to react to a blocking assignment. So that's not something I expect him to struggle with in the NFL. So with all of that, you've got pretty much the starting point for the dream pass protecting offense offensive tackle, but when we get to the hand usage, that's where I start to have more concerns. Now, he's not one of these offensive linemen that doesn't know what they're doing with their hands. He is very talented in terms of his hand usage. He plays with independent hands. He varies his punch timing. He's really comfortable using that quick initial inside hand strike and then protecting the outside hand, playing with a soft outside hand. So he can use that first strike to kind of take away pass rushers options, basically force them into a speed rush. And then he does a great job getting enough depth in his set only engaging with the outside hand when he absolutely has to. But there are way too many times on his tape where he's wide and or late with his punch and he just allows defenders into his frame way too often. In most cases, this didn't result in losses at Penn State. He could afford to let a long arm into his frame and then use his play strength and overall technique to set his anchor. But you saw this in the Ohio State matchup from 2023. He gave up several pressures to JT Tuamolu. And I think at the NFL level, that's something that does need to be cleaned up. And he also has a tendency to bear hug blocks, get his hands outside on the shoulder pads. Again, at the college level, this didn't result in many losses. But in the NFL, he's not going to be at such an extreme athletic advantage as he was in the Big Ten. So I think he has elite potential as a pass blocker. That's why I compare him to guys like Laramie Tunzel and Tristan Wirfs. But I don't view him as a day one star right out the box. I do think there will be an adjustment period with his hand usage when he gets to the league. And then his run blocking overall leaves a lot to be desired. He did show noticeable improvement, especially over the second half of 2023. In my opinion, though, you're drafting Ola Fushanu for his pass protection. I don't really view him as a top tier run blocking prospect. He plays way too square to reach blocks, doesn't do a great job working over to the play side shoulder. He's a pretty upright blocker overall, doesn't play with great bend in his lower half. I think you especially see this on reach blocks. If he's blocking a difficult shade, he just really struggles to work over to the front side. I would say he's inconsistent locating second level defenders, this is probably the area where I saw the biggest improvement on his tape. If a linebacker or DB just kind of braces for contact, he can latch on and get some highlight blocks. But against a shifty defender that's creating a moving target, he does have a difficult time securing his hands, and that results in some whiffed blocks at the second level. On front side base blocks, like on the front side of outside zone, where you're just trying to widen out that defensive end and create space through the B gap, he has a bad habit of punching, but not staying attached to that block. It's almost like he's trying to make a highlight block and just toss them out of the club, but he doesn't stay attached and they're able to work back into the picture. And I think overall, just the willingness and ability to finish as a run blocker is pretty inconsistent throughout his tape. Like I said, he showed improvement. I think the Michigan game was probably his best run blocking performance of his career. And when he gets his hands inside, he can run his feet and drive blocks downfield into the ground. But comparing him to the other tackles in my top three, there's just really no comparison in terms of his violence as a run blocker. So I have a top five grade on Olufashanu. I think he has elite potential as a pass protector and a lot of work to do as a run blocker. I wouldn't project him as a top half of the league run blocker, although I do think he has the traits to improve in that area. But I think the hand placement and timing and pass protection is going to be his main adjustment transitioning to the end. Thanks for watching.
watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any NFL players or teams that you'd like me to cover.